Hey everyone, how's it going? What are you guys smelling like today? Thanks for tuning in, thanks for finding the channel. Oh, let me say what I'm wearing today. Check this one out, another good one. I'm starting to join my collection again. You know, when I pull stuff out like this. Ayothaya Oyothaya by Prin Perfume. This, uh, man, this guy. Oh, if you guys follow the Instagram, hint, hint, I kind of put a picture just the juice up. Saying how much I just love the juice in, in white snow. And um, I'm about right after this video, the day's over. In the evenings, I usually have a chai and check that out. You guys, Portland, I mean, we do, we do everything ourselves. So this is a homemade Butterfinger. And there, I mean, this, this I told you how much this was. <laughs> it's expensive, but they're so, so good. They give everything away here when companies start to get you addicted and then there's no going back once you can taste this homemade goodness. So even our candy bars are, I don't know what you call them, but awesome and fluffy, foofy, bougie. Is that the word, bougie? Anyways, review. I'm excited. Get to go back to Ducita. I love this house. This has become one of my favorite houses. Chloe, love what you're doing. Keep on doing it. I can't wait to get your latest release now. Um, this is Melody de la Amor by Ducita. Um, stuff. So good. Um, I, I don't own a bottle. I don't know which one to buy. And it's like, I want to buy like three. And of course I want... Yeah, the Oud one, and, but there's a lot of good ones. Anyway, stay tuned, guys, for the review. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Here we go. Melody de l'Amour by Ducita. It's an X straight uh, de parfum. Whenever you put that word X straight, I can just feel my saliva from my nose happening if that's a thing I don't know what you'd call that it's not like I get sniffy or nothing but my nose wants to smell uh, whatever that is um, Sultan Pasha on his Instagram recently went to uh, one of the best museum I've ever seen in perfume in Spain I think his trip to Barcelona it was right after that so I assume it was when he was in Spain he put up like he put a post, but each post had 10 pictures. There's like, I think 12 of these posts, so 120 pictures of these vintage perfumes. I mean, once I saw that, I was like, all I want to do is smell. And I guess you go to the museum, you can't smell, can't touch. It's like, what the heck is that all about? Anyways, we've got an X straight. We can smell this one. Check out the juice. Great juice. All of her juices are just nice color on them. That is just almost a copperish, pinkish color on the juice. On this one, $350 for 50 ml is an extra eight. That's, that's way more than double potency of the Eau de Parfum, um, double potency of a pure parfum. I'm assuming it's 50% ingredients. I couldn't find that anywhere. I've been trying to find that out. Um, I know that's, uh, it might be 25% too, so 75% carrier, 25% ingredients. Here's what uh, she says about this. A love song with a unique floral essence, love absolute, inspired by the feelings of bliss true love evokes an unforgettable sweet floral harmony, redolent with a unique pure fragrance of gentle seduction. The top of this one, Fresh, pure scent of gardena, gardenia, romantic tuberoses, blend of 150 varieties of flowers enhanced by the rich golden notes of wild honey. Um, the heart, a creamy poetic peach, sweet Italian broom flower, green sensuality, sensuality of lily of the valley, all balanced by the rich nocturnal refrain of Indian jasmine. Uh, base notes, an exquisite new accord of soft, soothing cedarwood oil with a gentle stain powder of irresistible musk. 
Those are great notes. Perfumer is uh, Pasara Umavajani. Ploy nickname on her website. That's where I got that from. Not like I know where to get to call her that. She put it on her website. So taking a little freedom of calling her that from that. This scores a 4.21 out of 5 on Fragranica. Um, I would uh, build as unisex, I'd say 70% feminine, 30% masculine, although a lot of animalic going on, so keep that in mind. Um, Tubero is the star for me in the first hour. This would be the star ingredient for me before the, the must she talked about in her notes just totally take over and still the show, uh, so to say. Uh, what I have for this is is what an opening. I mean, this is the kind of opening that um, I talk about openings with other fragrances, kind of get excited. But this this is, I mean, last time I had an opening like this was Belle du Jour that just knocked my socks off. This is the kind of open opening. I mean, uh, debutante's ball is what I have. I mean, when, when the girl's coming down full dress and just bam, you know, just open. Oh, Revealing herself to everybody. That's this perfume's opening. It's you spray it and it's it's that great of opening. I mean, just you can't put your head around anything. It's just you're just taking in the beauty. You're just taking in the beauty and and just um it's a happy moment, very happy moment. The tuberose and the honey flowers, she talks about the honey note. Um haven't smelled that one before. Uh, give me a baguette and let me spread it on there because I just wanted to lick my skin. Um, tube roses are already one of my most favorite ingredients in perfumery and the honey just, it made it sweeter. Um, honey to me is not too gourmandy. It's just, it, it's like the perfect sweetener, just like honey is. I mean, I, I had fresh honey when people say that I, people be, do the bee thing. And uh, when their honey's ready, man, I'll drop everything, go to their house and get that honey. It's that kind of thing. That's smelling this is that that kind of thing also. She said the animalics were coming from the lily of the valley. That's still, I'm trying to get a, a lily of the valley, a true lily of the valley smell and perfumery. And uh, I've talked to a couple people, heavy, heavy people, heavy hitters who are doing this. And they're saying that if they call it Lily of the Valley, it really doesn't exist. And then some people say it does. So I'm, this is one note that uh, it's one of the first notes I tried to get just because of what it was um, in my head around. So here she is, the green Lily of the Valley. There's an animalic. I thought it would come from the jasmine, but um, that, right, right away, this animal comes in and it just, it, it's a good thing. It's just, a lovely attitude attitude of floral shows up. Uh, it, just a tidy bit dirty, very sexy, very seductive kind of animalic. I mean, this this is drawing you in, kind of like <laughs> Debbie Don's ball. I'm I'm here, and it, it's just drawing you in, kind of thing. I think get where I'm going, get what I'm saying. Um, yeah, guys, you're putting your tux on, same thing. You're getting dressed up for the show, and you're really, same thing. Getting out of that tux, going to the red carpet, this fragrance is just like that. I mean, it, it is, in all its glory, one of the most pulling in, polarizing fragrances. Not polarizing, wrong word. Seductive. It draws you in fragrances that... Uh, I put my nose on. Like I said, Belle de Jour, last one that, that did this for me. And this extract goes above that. And it's opening. It's powerful. Uh, okay, I'll be honest with you guys. Right away, I was like, could this be? Is this more oud? Is it because because the, the scent, uh, when it goes into the heart, turned into the same thing as oud and finny. And I'm like, oh, my mouth starts watering. And I'm like, oud, great. And I'm sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. I'm picking up uh, the same notes as Oud Infinity to a T. Picking them up. So next thing, you know, I had to sit down, get on the computer, look up notes. No Oud listed. She definitely listed if she was using uh, Real Oud. So I don't think there's any in there. But let's get into what uh, that is. So what um, Ploy has here is a house accord. 
She's um, that I haven't heard nobody talk about this. It's one of the darkest musk chords. Um, she knows what it is that I've, I've put my nose on. I've smelt very similar things on Asian business people. It, um, the, the musk, wh whatever ingredient she's drawing to get that, that, that deep musk. If you guys, Udin Finney or this one, if you put your nose on it, you know what I'm talking about. It's undeniable. The dry down last 12 hours. It's it that musk is on your skin. Um, I've, I've smelt it on, and I'm not trying to stereotype anybody. Literally, uh, many different Asian business people at different conferences. Uh, I used to work conferences and sell tapes and whatnot um, when I was younger, and it was to a worldwide audience. They come, and it, it was a big thing, and we sell a bunch of tapes. So I mean, they're all dressed up, whatever. I smelt the smell every year on Asians, for sure. The musk part of it. Not all the other goodness on top of it, but that carrier that she's building, the house, of course, she's building. Hers is way different. Hers is more powerful. It, it's good stuff to me. It might offend some people. I mean, this is, this is an out there gravitas fragrance. Um, the, the, the cord she's um, um, uh, building up. I am now on a mission to find out what this base is. Obviously, if you, um, <laughs> some of the ladies on the channel are picking up on my little little things that, that I say, I am working hard on my own base. Naturally, it's a tough thing to do to get a long lasting, great smelling base that's affordable. Um, sure, I can go smack on an extraordinaire in heavy doses, but now all of a sudden, <laughs> What I'm doing is so expensive, it's crazy. So I'm like, how do we reel that in? And it's, it's, it's tougher than I ever imagined, but it's funner than I ever imagined at the same time. Um, so now my mission is, is uh, um, I'm not, not into copying her, what ingredient she's using. So I, I gotta know these fresh natural ingredients uh, for my own thing. In my head, I know what I wanna achieve. Um, and And, hasn't been done so i'm not i'm not worried about that but I'm, I'm if there's a base note fragrance you know your vetivers oak mosses even patchouli um that's why i put my head on all of these so so here i'll report back i i'm into that um once i find out um that's research for another day when i have a full morning to just dedicate to this and order a bunch of stuff and put my nose on them but that's my mission now because of her, the second time she's done it. And again, not don't want to copy, just want to know the musk note she's using. I don't think it's not Savette, it's not anything like that. It's definitely animalic, but, um, and I've definitely smelt it before. And yeah, I, I don't want that same smell, but uh, if I could get some nuances of that, I want to figure that out. All right, let's get back. You got me off. Got me excited about my bases. Fragrance, in my opinion, compared to uh, perfumer's notes. Um, everything in there played perfectly to what I know of, except the gardenia. That's the only powerful thing I didn't really pick up. Um, it might have been softly in there. That might have been what sweetened and, and, and uh, the very top off before it got out of Malik that, that I was talking about. Um, so that maybe that first 30 minutes I could continue playing into that, but it didn't stick out as a other note, but everything else to a T, I love it. Uh, Asian musk is a must, must, must try for everybody to put your nose on. Um, if you're into perfumery, um, you guys will probably recognize it also. Uh, if you can leave it in the comments, I'd love it. Uh, Ploy is blowing it out of the park. These are exceptional perfumes. She's playing at a higher level. She's doing some amazing stuff. Um, I've said this before on the, the channel that, yeah, she's playing the big leagues. Just she's a quality ingredients, aggressive sense. Um, it's not for the tame. Uh, you know, it's it's not for the people that want to sit back and just have a skin scent. This is this is power fragrance, beast fragrance kind of, of people. The, all the ones... I've tried before. I do my best to describe them, but I mean, which I'm into. She's strong out there with her own DNA and scent. Not even 
her own thing. Love what she's doing. I'm glad I found her house. Can't wait to try the other ones. Score on this one, addictiveness, 13 out of 15. So that goes with originally originality and branding. Projection and sillage, five out of five. People are gonna smell you. Longevity, five out of five. It's 12 hours for me, my skin, which for you guys, I mean, I can see this going 24 hours for some people. Composition, 23 out of 25. Ingredients, 21 out of 25. Fragrance is top heart and base. The top, 10 out of 10. The heart, four out of five. The base, seven out of 10. Gives this a high score of 87. Buy a bottle. This could be somebody's signature scent. I, I know people wear strong perfumes daily. Most likely, if you're looking for a beast fragrance and a statement fragrance, like I said, that, that night out, uh, a ball, just the statement fragrance, this is a great one to have in your arsenal, in my opinion. Um, I'm having a hard time uh, what to buy with the Cedar because I want a lot of them and I can't have them all. So I'm having a hard time with which one to buy. Th this, uh, you don't want to wear this one in the heat, in my opinion. I, I think this one could blow out on you. That musk could really just blow up on you. I didn't work out with this one. I didn't dare. Uh, but that's my careful take on, on it. Maybe um, when I start bike riding, because no, I'm not around nobody, I can test this stuff out more on that. And then that way I'm not offending nobody. And um, I'll be able to put it in a place where I can bike ride and it won't affect me either. Who do I see wearing this one? Without a question, uh, Caesar's Palace, Celine Dion in her concerts, for sure. Um, it's an easy one for me. Uh, how many sprays? My signature three with an extract that I, that I usually do. Hit both wrists and, and uh, a far away spray to hit most of the neck and some of my garment that I'm wearing. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking it out. Love this house. Peace out. Be blessed.